Shout out to all the viewers and subscribers. Blessings for the continuous support. Now today we are taking a look at a former professional cricketer, Pedro Collins. Now Pedro Collins was a left arm fast medium pace bowler who shortly represented the West Indies. Pedro is remembered as one of the most gifted left arm pace bowler to play for the West Indies. Collins is originally from Barbados and is the half brother of the West Indian speedster Fidel Edwards. Now, Collins made his international debut in 1999, just a year after he ripped through India playing in an A team for the West Indies. It was in the same period of time when Courtney Walsh and Curtly Ambrose were actually coming to the end, end of their careers when Pedro Collins burst on the scene. So this me meant that um, Collins was immediately eyed as somebody that would help to lead the West Indies pace attack. Before we even go any further with this video, it is key to note that um, injuries really hampered Pedro Collins' career and it was not because of a lack of ability or potential why he didn't actually play the game at the highest level for a long period of time. He really struggled mm -hmm. with his fitness. We're talking about knee injuries, shoulder injuries, and um, those who really paid keen attention to his career might remember one injury in particular that he, that he had sustained when he was hit by Jason Gillespie in the groin and had to do um, surgery and was out of the game for a long period of time. So just to clear that up, now <laughs> for those who actually followed his career in the earlier stages, you know, they would be aware that, you know, he was actually a very good football player. You know, he was actually playing football at a competitive level before he actually took up cricket. One of the highest points in Pedro Collins' career was actually in a series against India in 2001-2002. Coming back into the West Indies team fresh, Pedro Collins um, returned with a high, higher arm action and was able to get the ball to swing naturally. Um, throughout the season, he amassed a total of nine wickets. I mean, that wasn't a lot by any stretch of the imagination, but I am most definitely certain he will cherish a moment that actually happened in that series where he was able to get world-renowned batsman Sachin Tendulkar out on a total of three times and is actually the only player um, or the only bowler to get Sachin Tendulkar out three times in a series. So, I mean, he wasn't um, effective to the level where he got a total of 19, 20 wickets, but, you know, it was a pretty good return coming in back into the team. Uh, he really looked well. His rhythm was back and he was getting the ball to move in and out, you know, and, and stuff like that. So, he was looking really promising, you know, so he was getting the ball to do a lot of things. But eventually, the flat pitches in, in India got, got the better of him. He really struggled as regards to taking wickets. Moving on from, from India, in 2002-2003, the West Indies had a series against Bangladesh and Pedro Collins was pretty effective against them. You know, he managed to get a, a, a couple of wickets and, you know, he was getting the ball to move into the right hand and away from the right hand and stuff like that. So he was look, looking actually well. So he was pretty effective against Bangladesh. And um, the telling series was actually against Australia shortly after the Bangladesh tour. He wasn't effective um, at all. He, you know, he didn't really perform very well. And shortly after the, the Australian tour, he was actually out of the team for a, for a good period of time, for um, close to a year actually. You know, he, he picked, actually picked up an injury in that series there against Australia and was out for a period of time. He, he actually continued struggling with, the, with, the, with, with injuries and all of that. In March of 2004, he returned to the, to the West Indies team to play against England and he, he actually played a vital role in that, in that little series there. And shortly after that, he was in and out of the team again because of injuries and, and not performing at, the, at his highest level. And it was during, during that spell out, he actually missed the World Cup in 2007 and um, a tour that, that followed later, later that, that same year. Think is, I think it was a tour of England that followed later that same year. 
In an effort to actually further his career and to develop his bowling technique, Collins actually signed for Surrey in England, which actually meant that he would be unavailable for a couple of the West Indies um, games. So on a couple of occasions, West Indies came calling, and because of his obligations to Surrey, he was unable to, to play for the West Indies. And this really hampered his career a lot because when he was fit and, and ready, he was actually bounded by, by contract there by Surrey. And when he was free and available, he was hardly able to stay in the, in the, in the West Indies team because of injury. And it so happened that Collins went on to play his final test match in 2006 and his final ODI came in the year 2005. So just like that, the once touted left arm pace bowler um, that was expected to take West Indies back to their glory days, his career was short and over just like that in a flash. Now viewers and subscribers, one of the few left arm pace bowlers to come out of the region that was able to naturally swing the ball, I give to you Pedro Collins. Now feel free to go into the comments, let me know what you think about Pedro Collins. Was his career too short? Should he have taken better care of himself? Just let me know. Feel free to express yourselves what you think about um, this left arm pace bowler. Sports of the bone. Keeping it informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.